In today's video, I'll be showing you how to install and set up Streamlabs. If you've always fancied streaming your games, then Streamlabs is a pretty decent program to give a go. The first thing you need to do is go ahead and click on the link that's in the description below and you will end up on a page that looks like this. You now need to go ahead and click on download Streamlabs and you then need to save the file. Once the file has finished downloading, you then need to go ahead and run the setup file. You now need to agree to the terms. If you do agree, go ahead and press I agree and you can now choose where you'd like to install Streamlabs. I'm happy for it to be installed on my C drive. You then need to press install and Streamlabs will begin to install. Once the install has finished, keep run Streamlabs selected and go finish. You now need to go ahead and choose a platform that you would like to start streaming Streamlabs to. As you can see at the top here, you have three different options. You have Twitch, YouTube or Facebook. You can go ahead and click on the drop down and select even more platforms. You have TikTok, DLive and Nimo TV. I'm actually going to go ahead and skip this option. You can now go ahead and import if you have used OBS in the past. If not, go ahead and click start from fresh. We now have a few different options to choose from. As you can see, the first page is to set up my microphone and my webcam. So it has detected my microphone, which is good, but it hasn't detected my webcam. It is currently set to default as well. I would actually recommend you click on the drop down and select your microphone through this option here, just in case you was to ever plug in a different device, then it will select that device instead. We can now go ahead and go continue and you can now choose a theme. As you can see, there are quite a few different themes here to choose from. I'm going to go ahead and just select the top left hand theme and you can now go ahead and press install and it will install and add the theme to your stream labs. So now you can see that we have a cool little video clip playing at the top that says stream starting soon. Down the bottom here, we have a few different options. We have our starting soon. If we click on live scene, this is what it will look like. So to remove this, all you need to do is simply go down the bottom in sources and click on the minus arrow and it will remove the alert box. So this is what it will look like when I am streaming. As you can see, it's got new donation and we have new follower. In the bottom left hand corner is where my webcam would go. If you don't want to show a webcam, just simply select it and down in the bottom in sources, you can see it's selected. Go ahead and click on the minus and it will remove it. And we can do the same again if you select and then go minus and OK. So now we only have new donations at the top and new follower. If we go ahead and select another scene quickly, I just want to work my way through the scenes with you. We have Be Right Back. So if you're going to BRB, then you can have this shown. If we go down to the next scene, we have a cool little video clip there where you can put your name to your YouTube channel, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and bits and bobs. We then also have ending soon. So now let's go back to our live scene. So you can see now that we've got everything here and we've got our stream. However, at the minute, it's only a static image. We want it to actually display what is going on. So to add a new source, all we need to do is go ahead and click on the little plus arrow. And you now need to select game capture. However, I'm not actually going to show a game. I want to display my windows. So I'm going to go display capture, which will capture my main screen of windows. So I now need to go ahead and press add source. And then I can give this a name. So let's call it windows 10 and then press add source. I can now choose which display I would like to have displayed and also if I want my cursor captured, I'm happy with that, I can go ahead and press done. Also if you scroll down in the sources, that background image is still there which can be removed. So just simply select it and go remove and then press OK. So you can now see my Windows 10 is showing in the preview here at the top, however it's not showing my followers or my header at the top. 
So to get this back up, we need to simply select our Windows 10 source. So you would select your game source, or if you are going to do your desktop as your source, select the source that we just created, and then simply hold down the left and mouse click button and drag it down. We need to drag this below header. So at the minute, it's still above header. If I drag it down below, there we go. You can now see new donation, new follower, and the header is at the top. And there we go. That is pretty much how you can start streaming with Streamlabs and we can then go on the right hand side here and you can either press record or go live. You will need to be signed into your streaming accounts to be able to go live. I'm just going to go ahead and click onto it just to show you. As you can see it says could not access my channel. So at the start when it said to type in your stream accounts that's where you would have done it. However, you can actually click on the settings cog in the bottom left hand corner and you can then go to stream and you can then type in your account details here. Also, while we're on this menu, if you are finding that your stream's laggy or doesn't look so good, if you go to video, you have a few different options here you can adjust. And if we now go ahead and press done and go back to the main screen, you might be wondering how do you select each source as well when you go live. So to do this, all you need to do is simply click onto the actual source, so starting soon, and I can now go live on this, and it will display this scene. And then once I'm ready, I can flick to live scene, and it will then show my live scene. And that is pretty much it for Streamlabs. I hope this video has helped. If it has, smash that like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.